In this tutorial, we'll take a closer look at the object properties and understand how to adjust them manually. First, drag an image object onto the stage and center it. You can see that Web Animator automatically adds the properties regarding the top and left position of the object on your timeline. Now drag our time slider to one second and enable the record mode. When you will change an object property now, Web Animator will automatically create a new keyframe for that property on the timeline. We will change the object Z-axis properties to show you. You can also add the properties manually in addition to the automatic property creation during the record mode. Do that by clicking on the small property icon next to the object's name on the timeline. A window with all the properties you can apply will pop up. We now want our object to do a second rotation around the y-axis and fade in. So let's add these properties by clicking on Rotation, Y-Axis and Opacity. Both new properties are now added to our timeline. When you will change the property values now, Web Animator will add new keyframes to the timeline. Now click on Preview and you will be able to see the sun rotating and fading onto the stage.